Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new playthrough. This is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Um, uh, this was actually the very first Fire Emblem game I ever played. Back when I was in high school, a friend had loaned this to me to try it out. I ended up loving it. Um, there have only been three Fire Emblem games I really played. This one, obviously. It's sequel, Radiant Dawn for the Wii, which I also plan on playing. And, uh, one for the 3DS, uh, what was it? It wasn't Three Houses. I think it was Awakening. But, um, yeah, um, my experience with Fire Emblem is very minimal, but I'm, I'm familiar with how it works. It's kind of like Final Fantasy's, well, I shouldn't have to tell you how it works, because people know what Fire Emblem is by now. It's just, it's balance systems, it's like tactics, and kind of like Utawadi Ramono, so... I know what to expect. But, uh, I've been wanting to come back to this for a while and replay this game at its sequel, and, uh, now I've finally gotten around to do so. So, uh, let's dive on in into a new adventure, shall we? Uh, let's see. For novices, want a little helpful, want a little helpful guidance. There's another way around the game. This is standard difficulty. It's okay. Um, you know what? I'm not I'm not a novice, so we're just gonna go for normal. Go with the the standard difficulty. Well, Ike, you had enough? He tried to go in for a, a cheeky moon. He failed. I? Oh no! Well, he tried. It's all. It's all counts. Like smother, perhaps. Sam, all that uh, fond of the English acting, but I mean, what can you do? This game doesn't exactly have dual lingo. Mercenaries. Oh boy. Are you all right? Mm, yeah, I'll be fine. So, the Sleeping Prince awakens. Father, I can't believe you. I know those I know those are practice swords, but they're still heavy. You have no right to be so rough on Ike. And if this is too much for the for the boy, he'll never make it as a mercenary. But Mist, you don't have to worry about me. I told you, I'm fine. Ha, <laughs> you better be. Now, grab your sword and get ready. What? What? Don't tell me you're going at it again, but... Just until I land a single blow. I'm not giving up until I get one good hit on Father. I like your resolve, I, but it takes more than the strong will to... Hmm? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I'd find you here. Hi, Boyd. What brings you here? Nothing special. Nothing special. You said you were going to get to the boss and you never came back. I got picked to check up on you. Oh, sorry. I got caught up with Ike and my father. 
It's, it's nothing. Besides, I figured I'd get a good laugh watching that I get worked over by the boss. Oh shit. Uh. Did I just skip dialogue by pressing circle? Alright, I'm ready for you. Let's go. I think I skipped dialogue. Oops. If you play the game, tutorial windows like this one will appear from time to time. And a helpful hint girl will explain and demonstrate any new features. If you want to watch the tutorial again, simply choose guide from the main map menu. Use the tutorials. Oh. I mean. Eh, sure, why not. The first tutorial explains the basics of how to move. Uh, sure. Let me tell you a little bit about movement range. Movement range, as you might have guessed, shows the maximum number of spaces a unit can move. Before you can move, move a unit, you'll need to know about the cursor. You can move the cursor with either blah or blah. To start off, place the cursor on the unit you want to move. Alright, so simple. Once the cursor is on the unit, press blah. This will select the units so you'll be able to control them. Voila! Can you guess what the different colors of the lit area mean? The blue area shows movement range, and the circle and the orange spaces show the maximum attack range. Movement ranges and attack ranges vary between units. Be sure to keep that in mind. I guess it's about time we actually move somebody, isn't it? First, you need to choose a destination. If you want, if you move blah, an arrow will extend from the unit. The arrow mar marks the path the unit will take. All right, simple enough. Move, move the yard to the destination space and press block to send the unit to that space. All right then, I'm gonna give this unit his marching orders. When the unit is finished moving, the menu appeared over the right, didn't it? This is the command menu, which displays unit commands. Commands are the orders you can issue to your units. I'm gonna order the unit I just moved to wait. Use blah to select wait. Then press blah to confirm the end of the unit's movement. Then, and that wraps up the movement range tutorial. No, I got it. Pretty basic. Alright, I'm ready for you. Let's go. Okay. Can I... Okay, there's that. I'm trying to get the... I'm trying to get the, uh... Okay, okay that's... That zooms out. That's that. Alright. We got victories. Here we go. That's the, that's what I was looking for. Animation, message speed, let's move it fast, game speed, uh so let's have the normal. Um triangle, combat combat window. Animation, I'm not sure what that means. Unit window. There's a way to uh, make battle sequences faster. It might be, might be combat window. I think, or is it, or is it that? It might be animation. Let's get started already. I'm coming. Wait right there. Direct combat tutorial. It's time for me to tell you how to get engaged in enemy in direct combat. As you can see, there are two units on the battlefield. A blue unit and a red unit. The blue unit is the player-controlled allied unit, and the red is the computer-controlled enemy unit. Now, I'll move, I'll move the allied unit next to the unit, enemy unit. Here goes. Look at the command menu. You see the attack command, right? Be warned, if you don't have a weapon you can attack with, the attack command will not appear. Once you've chosen to attack, you'll see a window with all the units available weapons. This display shows all the weapons this unit can use to attack. Use blah to choose the weapon you want to use. 
The window below shows the info on the weapon you've highlighted. So choose a weapon and press Bla to equip it and get ready to move into combat. Before engaging in combat, information on the unit and the enemy unit will be displayed. This is the display shown here on the left. It's called the combat information window. The information in the blue portion of this window refers to your unit. The information in the red refers to the enemy units. I kind of figured that. Next, select your next select your enemy. If there are multiple enemies within your attack range. Use the cursor to pick one of them. And th in this case, there's only one enemy, so you have to do all you have to do is press blah. And that's it for the direct combat. No, I'm good. Hurry up, will you? Or are you afraid of me? Alright, guy. So there's this. You can have it this way? You can do it. Boy's not got nothing. Take him out. Nothing? I don't have nothing. I mean, I have. I mean... Done yet? We're just getting started. So is that? So what is it? Is it animation? Let me try that. Okay, yeah, it's animation. That that wasn't too bad. Boyd, you're such a loser. Such a trap. Good work, Boyd. That's enough. Oh, all right. Your swordsmanship was decent enough, Ike. Don't forget how it fell. It won't always be this easy. I know. Now that you've done warming up, it's time for you to face me again. I was hoping you'd say that. But first, miss. Right here. Here you go, Ike. It's a vul- it's a vul- it's a vulnerary. Vul- vulnerary. I'd recommend using it now before you fight father. Last time he knocked you silly. I'm good. I always take time to hear wounds in a battle, even small ones. By the time you think you're in trouble, you're probably too late. Don't get into that situation. Ah, skills. Let's talk items now. To begin with, I'm going to show you how to use a vulnerary to regain a, vul, a, vul, a vul, vulnerary vulnerary uh, to regain HP. First, I'll set the character with the cursor and press blah. The movement range will appear, but not for now. I'll just see where I am and press blah again. Now you can see the command menu from the command. From the command menu, I'll move the cursor to item and press blah. This display shows all the weapons and items that Yun is carrying. Now I'll use the cursor to, to select the vulnerary. Vulnerary. When I select the vulnerary with the cursor, I'll press blah. The menu is shown. Okay. This time I'll press blah and use it. Self-explanatory. So that's how vulnerarys work. All right. In this example, a state station is an item, but the process for using one after you move is the same. If enemies are nearby, it may be a good idea to move to a safe place before using such an item. No. I got it. Why not? I'll use it. Get ready, Ike. Here I come. Look at this man. Give it your all. Come on, boy. You're going to give me a challenge this time around. Do attacks? Do attacks in the back work in this game? I know how I can tactics. If you attack in the back, uh, you're more effective. But I don't know if that applies to Fire Emblem. No, it doesn't, because he automatically faces you. I 
Isaac barely survived that. Good work, guy. You did it. That would have been pitiful if I died during a tutorial. I, you were great. Father, you were holding back, weren't you? What? Is that true? If you could tell a difference, that means you're improving. You know, I wasn't really good giving it my all either. That's such a lie. Bah. So, Father, does that mean you finally admit I'm, that I'm ready? What, to join the company? To take on a job? Yeah. I mean, Boyd's already out there on this battlefield. I'm ready. I'm tired of being a trainee. Listen, the difference between you and me is that I'm a professional. A professional who just, who just, who just got beat. That was just random chance. Random chance. We've got a point, Ike. Alright. Tomorrow will be your first day as a full-fledged mercenary. Really? But, if, if I think it's too much, you're going back to trainee status. You better, you better work hard. No problem. Watch, I'll catch up to everyone in no time. We'll see. We'd better be heading back to the fort. Everyone's waiting. Oh, joy, everyone. Good, good. The battle begins. Oh, we're at a fort. All right, what's happening here? Good morning, Ike. Today's your first day as a professional soldier, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm ready to go. What you are is late. The others were suited up and ready for at the break of dawn. Sorry, I'll get up early from now on. So, what's my first job? I'm talking with Tatania right now. Wait outside until we're done. Yes, sir. Very well, Commander Gra Gra Grail. Shall we continue? You were telling me about some bandits that needed taken care of, weren't you? Correct. The request comes from a nearby village. According to our reports, the bandits are not all that strong. I think it's best if I ride out and take a look. I plan on taking Oscar and Boyd along with me. Just the brothers? Hmm. Go ahead and add Ike, and add Ike to your team. Sh Shinon. Shinon. Sh uh, Shinon. Shinon. Yeah, Shinon. Got, 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 got and I can handle the other two jobs easily enough. Titania, I'm leaving the eye in your care. I'm trusting you to show him the ropes. Understood, Commander. Come on, Ike, let's get you set up. All right, all right, my first job. He's so excited. Captain Titania, preparations are complete, and I'm ready to go. Impeccable timing. It's nice to know we can always count on you to be at the ready, Oscar. Don't forget about me. I'm ready for action. Uh, the audio's like lagging. Is that? Is that? Is that you, Boyd? That's a surprise. Ha! Nothing today. Nothing. Not today. It isn't. As of today, I'm going to be the absolute model of perfection. I need to set a good example for Ike. I'll take your word for it. My first campaign at last. I know you've wanted this for a while. Are you nervous, Ike? I think I was more nervous last night. I could hardly sleep. This morning I'm feeling pretty good. It's the calm before the storm. You should try to relax. You're not going to get out there alone. Be out there alone. Yeah, you're right. All right, everyone ready? Let's go. Who's this? Caldea. All right, let me explain what's going on. This is the map of Caldea. They've hired us to drive off, off some bandits. Uh, where are the blue mar where are the blue marks here? The red dots are the bandits. Uh, bandits. There are not many of them, but we can't get careless. One of them. The one in front of the building up north is their as their leader. Our mission is to take him out and recapture that building. 
Ike, listen up. All this stuff is old news to me, but I can give you a, a rookie a few, like you a few tips. First off, don't yourself get worked worked up and jump out in front in front of everyone. You'll just end up getting hurt. Don't try to do too much, Ike. When things get dangerous, you can and should rely on us. As long as you will watch how, watch how the enemy moves carefully, you'll be fine. Think of this as a training mission. I'll do that, Oscar Boyd. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Just sit back and watch how a professional handles things. Enough chit chat, you three. We've got work to do. Alright, before you engage an enemy, take a good, good, good look at his weapon. The weapon you use often determines how who has the upper hand in the fight. For example, the axe I'm wielding serves me well against lances, but it fares less well against swords. My lance is great against swords, but not against axes. And to complete the triangle, ah, my 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 sword. It's strong against axes, but weak against lances, right? Yes, exactly. If you can remember that, you'll be more effective in combat. That's just the basics, though. This will come in handy soon enough, so don't get don't forget it. Swords or axes? I won't forget. Not if, not if I remember that. I'll always. Not if I remember that. I'll always. I always, always have an advantage over you, Boyd. Do you think you could f f maybe find out a different way of remembering? Yeah, thanks. Huh. <laughs> and one more thing. Don't forget to visit the locals. We're here to help, after all. The villagers should welcome our presence. Sure. Sometimes you just have to take a break from the hurly burly of warfare. So let's talk about visits now. As you play the game, you'll encounter maps of houses and taverns. If the door in the building is open, you can visit it, but if it's closed, you can't get in. You see how the door is on this house is open, that means you can visit it. Let's try this. First, we'll move the unit. Okay, move it. Select visit. What brings you to such an out-of-the-way place? Would you like some tea? Or perhaps a biscuit? Oh, sorry. you got a battle to get back to, don't you? Mm, I hate to see you leave empty-handed. There, take this vulnerary with you. Easy, right? Oftentimes you get items, information, and other goodies when you take time to visit. So if you need to see a house or a tavern, make sure to pay to visit. Something good is waiting for you. Visiting isn't all just isn't all isn't just all uh, isn't all just vulnerabilities. Just pleasant teas and nice cups of tea. You may <clears throat> you may encounter bandits or thieves in your travels. Unlike other enemies, they can attack and destroy homes. So don't let your guard down. The house, the house or a tavern is destroyed. You can't visit it, obviously. But you'll be fine if you visit it before any ruffians get there. After you enter, the door will close and the area will be secured. Remember, no house or tower is truly safe when bandits or thieves are around. Not until you pay a visit. <clears throat> That's about it for the visit tutorial. No, I'm good. Alright. So, what do we got? We got a house there. We got a house there. Alright, let's pay a visit. Hey, old man. Hi, uh, you're with the mercenaries, right? Thank you for coming. We've heard a lot about you. Here, take this weapon. We're farmers, not fighters. Maybe we'll get some use out of it. What do I get? Ooh, a sword. Nice. All right, so. Mounted units. Come on, why not? So many tutorials. Let's talk about mounted units. Mounted units ride on horses, pegasi, and wyverns. Besides having a superior mobility, mounted units can also move twice in a single turn. Let me briefly explain this by using the mounted unit on the left. First, move the allied unit next to the enemy unit. Let's attack the enemy. This is where our unit normally stops moving, but see the movement unit's movement range. That's right. This unit can also use the rest of his movement even after you've given him a command. 
This second move is a unique feature of mounted units. Let's move again and select weight. All right, that's enough about moving your units. Now nah, it's time for me to get moving. This ends the mounted unit tutorial. Using your second move, you can bolt from an enemy and from its after attacking it. What this means is that you can do a hit and run attack. Very handy, huh? Okay. That sounds sounds very handy. Hello, sir. Alright, so I'm weak to axes, unfortunately. So Let me see something here. Combat window. Let me see what detailed means. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. Steel axe. Bah! One XP, oh joy. What's going on out there? Is, this, is that some sort of enemy? Army? Bah, a bunch of mercenaries looking for the next meal. The villagers must have hired him. Listen up, lads. Hurt him and beat him. Hurt him hard. We let this bunch live. We'll have hordes and hordes tired swords hounding us the rest of our days. It's, the, it's those fool villagers. They think they can buy a bunch of cell swords to chance us away. It ain't gonna work how they want it. All they want, all they get for their trouble is a bunch of ruined houses. Tear them down, boys. That'll teach them. Oh no, my house! Go there, some stuff. I'm go over here. Hey, visit here. Since those bandits took over, we can't even sleep at night. Please, you help us save our village. Here, my mother left me this. I hope it serves you well. What do I get? A seraph robe. What is the Saris robe? Guess we'll find out next turn. This house is total. Time to move on to bigger things. Now I smash some. Now I smash me some mercenaries. Missed. Pay for your crime.
kind of want to get Ike XP, so I want to kind of, I kind of want to leave things to Ike. And you're an upgraded unit, so... I'll fix it after this fight and see if I because I did disable an option in the uh, in the thing so uh, I don't know if I can read yeah hang on um, level up one second here. Let me see if I can fix the, uh... I got an iron sword. Cool. Uh... Let me, uh, save state this. Okay, uh, I might need to shut this down real quick. Yeah, I have to shut this down real fast. Hang on. One second. Turn that on. Then load this back up. See if this see if this fixes fixes it. Of course now I, now I have to get the window back. Hang on. Uh what is this supposed to mean? Emulate's GPU got desync, disabling de dual core, which I just re enabled, can help. Dual core with all speed up, though. Uh, for the runners, a lucky spend sent them out. Dolphin will now likely crash or hang, so if it crashes, unfortunate. Might need to find a, something different. All right. Well, well, let's just see what happens. I haven't had. I've never seen that error before. So. All right. Oh, how do we do? That? Oh, because he can't heal other units, huh? With 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 This must be the hanging issue that he mentioned that that was mentioned. All right, let me heal up. Oops. So I want Ike to get the killing below. You look for something, something fool. You looking for a fight? <laughs> it came to the right place. I'll give you a tussle. I missed. Well, I came for a tussle and I failed. Look if I kill you. Shit! I didn't want that. Good thing I safe stated. <laughs> Hang on. I wanted the, I get the. Could you get massive? Oh boy. 
unknown pointer. Okay, so here's the, uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's the hanging issue. <clears throat> Might be a ROM problem. Might need to see if I can find a, Might need to... Might need to see if I can find a better one. My guy, you're missing, you're failing me here. All right, so get you out of there. But a boy. Well, every brat needs a beat now and then. Are you ready for it? Not today. If, if you want to run away, now's your chance. <laughs> Imagine that. You sassing me. Don't that beat all. Too bad. Give me that XP's. Nice. I got an axe. See tutorial. Shoo! Oh, you mean C's, not sneeze. It's my mistake. In certain battles, you have to have like you have to. Like, I have Ike capture or seize key map points in order to clear the map. Generally, though, an enemy leader, also called a boss, will be guarding the seize point. So, you need to defeat the boss before seizing that location. Even though Ike is the only one able to use the seize command, you can defeat a boss with, any, with other characters, too. Let's try this out. Yeah, there's the hang-up issue. Yeah, that's the, that's the little. Well. The boss is defeated. I'll move back to see, to this least poison, seize point next. Seize appears in the command menu. When you select this and press A, You'll be asked if you want to see if you want to seize. Select yes to seize a point and clear the battle map. That's how it goes. All right. Pretty simple instructions. I've claimed victory. That's the end of it. Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. You know you surprised me, to think that you've come so far. Look at my father though, I've still got a long way to go. 
There's nothing you can do about that. After all, Commander Grail is, Grail is... Huh? What about my father? Oh, nothing. Nothing? No, I'm really curious. Don't worry, you'll learn all about it someday. Hey, hey, that wasn't too bad for your first battle. Not as flashy as my first time, though. Yeah, you were a real standout. I'll never forget the sight of you so keyed up you broke your own axe. Oscar? Dang it, you didn't have to bring that up. Anyway, I congrats, congrats on finishing your first mission. Welcome to the group. Everyone all right? Well, let's get going. I'm sure Miss has a nice hot meal waiting for us. I need to find a better ROM. I've never seen that error pop up before. Rescue! Oh, Titania. So this is where you've been at, is it? R Rise. Reese? I'm gonna call you Reese. Are you sure you're well enough to be up? Yes, my fear is completely gone. Are you sure? You still look a bit unsteady on your feet, if you ask me. Well, I've been in bed for almost a week. I doubt anyone to be in top form. Even you, my friend. I certainly hope that's all it is. In any case, until you're back at full speed, you won't be doing any work. There were mercenaries at the Royal End. Even the smallest snaps invites death, right? I know, I know. My apologies to the rest of the team, then. Looks like I'll be recuperating for a while longer. Hmm, it's for the best. Take your time and get and get fully rested and restored. You are sole staff wielder, Reese. The harder our work, the, the more we can depend on you to be at our sides. Thank you for your kind words. Oh, by the way, that paper you've been carrying around. Is it a letter? I had intended to go into town this afternoon. I can deliver if you like. Oh no, this letter is for you, Titania. For me? More than a little while a little while ago, I went out for, out for a walk around the yard, and a man I've never seen before came up to me and said, Give this to the Red tr red, red Trest Knight. How curious. I wonder what it is. I imagine it's a thank you from the people of Calde Caldea. Of Caldea. Or something to that effect. Oh no. How dare they? Titania, what's the matter? What did the letter say? Reese, take this letter to Oscar and tell him to prepare for combat and wait for me. I have to go out for a, mo for a moment. Uh, but Titania, I'll be right back. I'm counting on you. What on earth did the letter said? Everyone, come quickly. Hey, Reese. Uh, so, how are you feeling? What is it? Why are you so agitated? Has something happened? It's Miss and Rolf. They, they've been taking my bandits. What? What are you talking about? The two of them went out early this morning to gather wildflowers. Sure, they're not back yet, but... Earlier about the gate, a man asked me to deliver a letter to Titania. That was from a group of bandits. Kidnappers. What are we gonna do? Let me see it. Oh, boy, I know. He didn't seem like a bad person. Hmm, I get it. They're after revenge. They want retribution for the other day at the village. Caldea was it? Hmm, taking children as hostages? What cowards! Blast! Wait, Ike! Where, where do you think you're going? I'm going to get missed. N but, no! Titania, she said she'd be back. You're supposed to get ready and wait for her. And do you honestly think we've got time to wait? I'm going. What do you think you're, go what do you think you're going to do on your own, rookie? Hold it, I'm going to. Stop, both of you. I'm going with you. Oh, come on, wait. This is crazy. Do you think you can just ignore the deputy commander's orders? Road fork's here. Well, which way do we go? How am I supposed to know that? Hold it, are you saying you don't know where we're going? Unbelievable, you'd better, you'd better learn to think before you act, you moron. Shut your mouth, Boyd. Think you make me? Come on! Both of you, this is no time to be fighting. I figured we'd find you like this. What are you two doing? So you're coming after all? It's not like you it's not like you two chambermaids to be disobeying orders. What's the world coming to? 
Oscar, you know this road, don't you? Which way do we go? We're going. Go, you're going to the Bandit, Strong, Bandit Stronghold, right? It's the left fork. Got it. I'm still talking here. Let me finish when I. Come on, Oscar. Let's go too. I guess we got no choice. Hey, you're not leaving me behind. So you came, did you, boys? This is just you, then. You came alone. You see us underestimate what we're capable of doing to you. Now, where's that snobby, red-haired wench you ride with? Titania is not here. It's just us. All I want to know right now is whether Miss and Rolf are safe. Yeah, of course. We've got them locked up safe and sound that little shack back there. We've got no problem with those brats. But we're after is a little revenge. We want the redhead and her pups. And that be you, boys. And you then hurry up and let those two go. We're here, aren't you? You got no reason to hold them. You here, but Red ain't. We'll wait to see the brats until she arrives. Dang it! If you're so impatient, I guess we can start by killing you whelps. You all ready to die? Hey! Come on out! It's time to play, lads! There. There's so many. But we must not lose. Reese, move to the rear. If anyone gets injured, we'll need you, you on hand with your staff. Understood. Take him, lads. Without the red haired knight, they're no match for us. What'd you say, dirtbag? We'll make you regret those words. Mmm, routes. Why not? I'll explain the route victory condition. A route means to defeat any every enemy on the map. You can always count the enemies, but that's kind of boring. It's easy to just press start and view the map. Let's check this. Let's check it out. Look at the left window. Do you see the number of the ally and enemy units displayed? You have three ally units, and there are four enemy units. If you reduce the enemy units to zero, you'll meet the route condition. But... Look! More enemies showed up! On them, some maps, the enemy may send in reinforcements like this. Let's look at the map again and check how many units there are now. I can count! We had four earlier, but the reinforcements brought in two more. Now there's six! Boo! Reinforcements aren't a problem if you, if, if you eliminate the original enemies before they arrive. But if they do show up, you can't clear the map until you defeat them too. What's more, reinforcements may arrive more than once. Be careful. Great. Well, that. Alright. Yeah. That's definitely fun stuff. Alright. So, uh. Ha! What did you get? Uh, gotta be careful. I don't want to get too far ahead. Let's take this slowly. Chin up, Rolf. Boys aren't supposed to cry. But I'm so scared. Aren't you even scared of a, even a bit scared, Mist? Of course I am, but listen, we'll be fine. My brother will definitely come rescue us. Mm, yeah, you're right. We'll be right with him. I'm sure they will too. So no more crying. Got it? What are you doing? I'll fight you! You missed! Pay for your crime. What are you gonna do? You can't do damage to me. This is what happens. Sweets. 
Watch the stabs tutorial. I'm sure I can find uh, Let's find it. Let's take a talk about stabs. There are many kinds of stabs. Some for HP, some heal up normal sta states, and some do other things. The range to a, of a stat depends on which, you can, which one you can use. In most cases... You can use only one if you move to the next to a unit, but... There are some stabs that heal allies from a distance like this. There are also stabs that can use against a far off enemy. Let me show you how a staff is actually used. This is a heal staff, and it's a common staff that restores HP. First, move next to an ally and choose staff from the unit menu. Okay, I just, I don't need explanation on this. Alright. The amount of XP earned will depend on which staff you use. Okay, I have to keep that in mind. While you have a 100% chance of success with healing stabs, attack stabs will sometimes fail. If that happens, you'll earn less XP than normal. Makes sense. Alright. I'm running out of steel swords, so. Wah! Can I trade? Give me that axe. Thank you, sir. Welcome, come to me. Fight me. I want Ike to get out most of the XP out of this. Ha! This is what happens, dick. I'm sure I told them away from me. I should have known they disobey orders. They have no discipline. The de deputy commander of the Grail mercenaries that cannot allow any more of our people to be harmed. I don't need your help. I could have handled this myself. Glass. See? Watch me take this guy out. One fell swoop. Blah! Level five! Good and good. Alright. I don't want Titania to have all the XP because she doesn't get much XP as it is right now anyway. So... I'll fight you! I can stick Boyd out there front a little. Well, me. Get Boyd healed up. He's running away! What a coward! You ain't running from me, sir. This is what you get.
Come at me! Fight you with everything. Missed. Be careful on you. Actually, I might pull you out. Actually, let me do this. Let me pull you back a little bit. Yeah. Steel axe. Ow. Oh, it's close to level up. Here we go. All right, boy. Lose not to the likes of you. Uh, well, I can't do anything with him because I'm kind of stuck here. So if, I, so if I will move up with you, you'll wind up getting attacked, so... Oh. Going for the kill. Can we let the two of them go now? Sure, you can have them both. If you beat me, that is. Well, oh, I missed! Ike, buddy! Deserve to lose to sell swords like you. Too bad, he just did. And thanks for the XP. A speed wing. All right, somehow we did it. Somehow. What do you mean somehow? We did it because we're better than them. Void, calm yourself. What you did wasn't was in direct defiance of all the orders I explicitly gave you. How it turned out, 
Ah, there's another shell together. Deputy Commander, I take full responsibility. The failure is mine. Accept our apologies. Oscar. Reese. What am I supposed to do with you two? I think I'll leave you two to the commander. He'll know how to handle you. I'm sure. I'm sure. Now, let's find Mist and Rolf. Go on to the bandit sheet. They're in the, ba the shack. In that shack back. Oh. What? Miss! Please, let us go! I said, let us go! Missed! Brother! Everyone! He came! Uh, I'm scared! Rolf! Oscar! Help me! Rolf, I'm here too! Boyd! <laughs> Stop crying! You don't need to, you need to worry! We'll really get you out of there! That's right! Fuck up, buddy! Uh, I'll try! You! Harm either of them and I'll see you dead. Shut up! St shut your stinking trap! If you want these two alive, you'll drop your weapon. You'll throw your weapons down. If you don't, I'll start with the girl. Uh oh. Stop! Wait! Huh? Yeah? I'm putting down my weapons. See? <laughs> Smart move, wench. Deputy Commander. We're here to save them. Now all of you back off. Okay. Dang. That stinks. <laughs> all right. So now you're all unarmed. Which means all you can do is watch. Like gut this whiny brown like a fatling pig. Oh. Rolf, can you hear me? Mist, is Rolf? Is he? He's fine, he's just fainted is all. There's not a scratch on him. Phew, don't do that to me. I just gotta see you both alive and well. You're both so brave. Yep, thanks. This guy's dead. This arrow, who shot it? A single arrow right between the eyes. Who else could make a shot like that? No one, that's who. That voice. Look who it is. Some guys in a some guy in an attire and fancy armor. Sheen on. Don't you children owe me a little gratitude? I did just save your lives. Deputy Commander, Sheen on. <laughs> You're both so cruel. With this armor on, you know I can't run that fast. Sheen on. Gotry. So that's where you went, Titania. Of course, I knew we needed reinforcements. I'm glad it wasn't a waste of time. Well done, both of you. In the end, I got feather. I got to feather someone, so it was worth the rush. Oh, I did a sweat. That was hard work. My guy, I'm sorry, brother. Miss, you did well, sis. You must have been frightened. Uh huh. I never stopped believing. I knew that you and the others would come rescue us. I knew you'd come. So I was fine. Really? That's an improvement on your usual sobbing note on your usual sobbing and nose running. You jerk, I my nose does not run. Alright, come on. Let's head for home. My goodness, what a day this has been. Alright. Man, there really is got there is there really is no good places to stop right now, is there? It's just one thing after another. There's like no rest points. Uh wanted to see me, father. I guess I'll go for a little bit longer. Sit down, I we haven't had a chance to speak yet. Titania told me what happened while I was gone, about the kidnappings, about my about, about my own men disobeying Titania's direct orders. I was the one who left first. I'll take responsibility for everything. No fair play in the martyr. Nobody made me go with you. I left to my own free will. I'm ready to accept my punishment too. Wait, what am I saying? Please, command, please, Commander Grail. Titania entrusted me with her, me with her orders. If anyone's to blame for this mess, it's me. 
I'm the one who should be punished. I set a poor example, Commander Grail. Any punishment would be, would be, should be mine alone. I'm pleased to see you're all willing to shield one another. However, regardless of your reasons, you disobeyed the, re the orders of a superior officer. You were confined to quarters for ten days. But father, they did what they did to help me and Rolf. Rules exist for a reason, miss. Men won't survive on a battlefield if they do as they wish, without so much as a, as a by your leave. I understand, and accept and, and accept the reprimand. That being said, we've got more work that we can handle. Your punishment is deferred until things calm down. Oscar, Boyd, Reese, you come with me. Shinon, Gatry, 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 and you, Ike, you're with me. What's going on now? What's this? What's going on here? My being belly is emptier than me fit, emptier than me first mate's head. Fetch me some grub. What's going on here? What's this? Port Talma. That's the pirate ship in question, isn't it? I they sailed into port a few days ago, and have been causing trouble ever since. I pray that you and your companions can drive them away. I understand. We'll do everything. we'll do what we can. Feathering sea scum is like shooting apples out, out, off a tree. Let's do the job and get out of here. Oh, deputy commander, you want standard thunder or lightning maneuvers here? Uh, thunder and lightning? Yeah, I crashed into them like thunder and she on rain, rains arrows down on them like lightning. Sounds good. What should I do? Let's head back and let Sheena and Gyrie soften them up. Once they whittled down the numbers, we'll all rush the ship and wipe out whatever's left. So pretty much let them do the heavy work. Are you all ready? Grail mercenaries, move out! On my way. Here we go. Ready. Preparation? What's this? Let's talk about the preparation screen. In this screen, you can make various troops adjustments before you fight. Let me go over each one briefly. Choose units that you choose which units you want to deploy on the battlefield, obviously. The numbers you have here show you how many units you can deploy on each map. The number on the right is the maximum amount, while the, le while the left shows how many units you have already deployed. Oh, and you don't have to deploy the maximum amount if you don't want to. Why would I not? Reposition lets you switch the starting units from all, for, for all your units. First, move the cursor to the first unit and press block. Then move the cursor to the second unit and block again. Oh. See how they switch positions? You can do this with any unit you want. You can, sh you can move also move units to any empty blue square. View map lets you look at the map we are about to fight on. You can check the terrain in any position on the map like so. It's pretty handy if you're trying to plan the perfect attack. Choose items to exchange weapons and items among party members. When you pick a, nat pick a unit, you'll also see the options equip and discard. You can also use the you can also use those in addition to trading. Also, you can trade with any unit, even if it is in display at the time. Condition that lets you see the map. See the map. You'll also see the stats like the number of the foes and success conditions. You can start. You can view the same map by pressing the start button during a battle. Don't forget now. Options that you change a variety of gameplay settings. You may have fiddled with this already. I have. Here we can change the settings such uh, such as message speed and camera angles. During a battle, you can also view this, this screen from the map menu. Save lets you save, save game data. I bet you couldn't figure that one out. You figure that one on your own. No, it's a hard concept. What is the save option? You can either write over existing get. I don't need to. I don't, are you seriously giving me a tutorial how to save my file? All right. All right. Start the battle. Chris, yes, you forgot something. Okay, I, I get it now. All right. Well, this is a good place to stop. So we're going to stop here. 
so, uh, when we come back, we will fight some pirates and see how things go from here. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next part. Later.